Hello again guys, um, just to let you know, it's actually a beautiful day outside, so I'm going to do this review outside, and I do apologize if you hear some honking in the background, that is the geese that are just going crazy, but today I have another review for you, this is another Shea Moisture product that I've actually picked up recently, I think somewhere either January or February. This right here is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen, Grow and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. It has keratin, peppermint, shea butter, and other stuff too. And this is what the back of the thing looks like. The ingredient list is right here. I end up picking this up at, at um, Target, my usual store, for about either $10.99 or $11.99 plus tax. I'm not entirely sure, and I will put the price in the description. But I ended up picking this up because I read a lot of reviews on it that it was a great product and that it softened hair and pretty much all over the board the reviews were overall positive so I decided to try this product out for myself and so I picked it up and luckily I did because there were like four to five of them in stock when I grabbed this and when I came back the next day there were only, there was only one in stock so I'm guessing this stuff is pretty popular um, the consistency is pretty decent I'm not going to show it all the way it's almost like pancake batter. The consistency is pretty much like pancake batter. Um, as you can probably see. Oh, sorry about that. That's a plane. So. Yeah, sorry about that. That was a plane. The consistency is mostly like pancake batter. And the smell is... Some people said the smell was really good, but to me the smell is mostly like Play-Doh with sugar in it, if that makes any sense. It mostly smells like Play-Doh, and Play-Doh is like that little clay stuff that you used to play with when you were kids. That's what it mostly smells like to me. So, because it has keratin in it, I use this very sparingly. I don't really add a lot to it. I use it on that like a small dollop. But in terms of it being a good leave-in, it's a pretty good leave-in conditioner. I wouldn't say that it is a moisturizing leave-in though. I would say it's mostly a protein leave-in conditioner. I say that because it has several proteins in it like keratin. I believe it has, let me see. Yeah, it has rice protein, niacin, and other stuff in it. So usually when I use this stuff I only use it during my light protein regimen which I will be doing a video on and it will be the next video that shows up but I mostly use this in my light protein regimen where I use a keratin shampoo a pro light protein conditioner and then I would use this along with the kinky curly knot today a small dollop of this about a I guess the size of two quarters is enough to cover my entire head so I try to not apply this sparingly, apply this in a heavy handed fashion because if I do, my hair ends up dry. It doesn't moisturize. On terms of moisture, it doesn't, it doesn't really moisturize my hair as the other people said in the reviews. It mostly strengthens my hair. It prevents my hair from breaking and snapping easily, but in terms of moisture, it just doesn't do it. It just, it mostly just strengthens it as far as I know. So I usually use this very sparingly as I've said a few times throughout the video because when I compare this to my other stuff which is the As I Am So Much Moisture Hydrating Lotion, I now use it as a leave-in conditioner instead of a styling product. That stuff actually moisturizes my hair and leaves it soft. So in terms of purchasing this stuff again, I might or might not. I'm kind of I'm kind of on the edge, I'm kind of somewhere between not purchasing it again and then buying it again just for the sake of it. But this is actually the first product I've tried from the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Collection. Sorry about that. This is actually the first product I tried from the collection. I don't know if I'm going to try any other products, but yeah, that's pretty much my review on it. It's a light protein leave-in conditioner, so if your hair needs some protein and you need it to and you need a great leave-in that's actually going to strengthen your hair, you can try this stuff. You can find it at Target, and I believe you can also find it at Walgreens. I haven't looked there yet, so I'm not entirely sure. It may be at select Walgreens stores. You'll just have to figure it out. But that's pretty much my review on it. And 
as you can see, I'm actually filming this outside. It's it really is a beautiful day over here in Florida. But that's pretty much my review on it. If you tried it before, leave your comments in the comments below. I'd love to hear how it worked for you. And a tutorial and more videos will be coming soon from me. As of now, I have to go somewhere. So I will be seeing you soon.